Two boxes, big Two and boxes. small. Mm -hmm. Small and big. Things that go in boxes. Presents, Christmas presents, makeup. Hey, hey, hey. Trilobites. All right, I have been wanting to like look at trilobites for a while because I think they're so cool. We had Copperlite, fossilized dino poo, fossilized poo on the channel a while ago. So check out that video. Make sure you like and leave me a comment. And now we're gonna hit some more fossils and hopefully this will become a thing. Maybe I'll be able to go to a new a museum and look at fossils, you never know. But I'm just excited to learn and talk about trilobites with you today. Let's do this. Aw, they're so stinking cute. Look it, look it, aren't they cute? Do these, no, do this. <gasps> For real? Wow, that's cool. Like a puzzle piece. Oh my gosh, isn't that cute? It's like a little critter. We have critters on the channel today. That goes together, like peanut butter and jelly. Ooh, that was not what I was expecting. It's like a baby trilobite. I don't know what these are. You know what that is? Look at that, isn't that cute? These, I am not familiar with what, these look like a trilobite. It looks like it, there's like pyrite or something on them. They are old. They are not alive anymore, but they're super freaking neat. Wow. Look at that. All right, guys, so I am jumping back to third grade. I feel like I learned a lot of this in elementary school. So what is a trilobite? A trilobite is basically a fossilized extinct marine bug. They're arthropods. An arthropod today, you may know uh, lobsters are arthropod, is basically a, I'm gonna say a bug or an organism that has a hard exoskeleton. So actually what this fossil is, that's not the animal. These trilobites, they will shed their exoskeletons. So this is basically a fossilized exoskeleton, which is, I think, really cool. These little dudes appeared during the Cambrian period and they died off during the Permian period. All right, so why do we not have trilobites around? So 250 million years ago, there was this great extinction um, and 90% of life forms on Earth were wiped out, including trilobites. Boohoo. Anyways, scientists don't really know why they were wiped out. It could have been increased volcanic activity, maybe like a supernova, maybe there was a trilobite war and they just fought to the death. No one really knows because there's no one around that's 250 million years ago, but we've got some awesome scientists and they have great guesses. There are over 20,000 known species of trilobites. They kind of look like roly polies and actually some scientists think that they, you know, rolled up to protect themselves, but they're actually distantly related to the horseshoe crab. All right, what's really cool is that trilobites, they vary in size. So, you know, there's small ones and there's medium sized ones. And I've heard some research says that they can be, some of them have grown to like 18 inches long and weighed roughly 10 pounds. But what freaks me out even more is not just the size or, you know, that they're kind of like ancient bugs, but is the fact that some of them were actually predators. I mean, could you imagine, you know, 290 million years ago, you're just minding your own business and walking around, your day's hunky dory, and then you have a big one of these chasing you. Yeah, I don't think so. Maybe it's a good thing they're, they're fossils. So I'm a very social person. I like to go to the movies. I, I like to go out for dinner. I like to go get coffee with my friends. And you know, actually that, that's really cool because I'm social and trilobites were actually social too. So that's something, you know, trilobite and I have in common. They would get together to hunt, which is creepy, having a bunch of these running around and they would get together and like molt. Like they were a social bug. I'm a social butterfly. These are social bugs, which is so cool. So yeah, fun fact. So trilobite could have starred in The Social Network and The Predator movie, neither of which I've seen. Some fossils have pyrite on them, which is really neat. I don't know. I mean, these were probably fossilized and then they were in the right environment that there was pyrite or the minerals that made pyrite and it just, you know, pyrite poked on and grew. I think that's so cool. I have i don't think I've ever seen a fossil with pyrite on it. For all of you who have not seen the show before, pyrite is fool's gold and we've got a cool episode about that. So check it out. Okay, so trilobites, um, we're popping a graphic up. It's the head, body, and tail. But the tri of trilobite actually comes from the, like the tri on the body right here. You see what I'm talking about? Like one, two, and three. 
Pretty cool, huh? Some Native Americans used to actually wear trilobites as like an amulet, and they were called little water bugs housed in stone, and they were believed to protect um, whoever was wearing them. I can't speak to whether or not they, they do protect you, but I can speak to that they would make a very cool amulet. I would probably wear one of these. What's cool about gemology is that you can talk about science and history and lore. It's kind of like the intersection of art history and science. And that's what I love about it. That's what attracted me to this business and that's what keeps me going. And that's what I'm so excited to share with you guys. All right, so three states have actually picked trilobite as their like, state fossil. Ohio, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, been to all three states. They're great states. Um, you know, we talked about how there's 20,000 different um, trilobite species, so they've all chosen a different species. What's really cool about trilobite is you can find it all over the world. It's been found near the top of the Himalayan mountains to as low as the California Death Valley. You know, so who knows? Maybe there's a trilobite in your backyard. You never know. Never know. So keep your eye out when you're searching for fossils. You can maybe run into a trilobite and hopefully it won't hunt you. Maybe you can sit down and have a social conversation with it. President Jefferson, Thomas Jefferson, you know him? Do you know Thomas Jefferson? Kind of a big, kind of a big deal here in the US. Anyways, he had a trilobite in his cabinet of curiosities. So for all of you out there who love Star Wars, you may not know that there's actually a connection between Star Wars and trilobites. So there was this paleontologist, Samuel Turby, and he found this new trilobite. And the genus name was Han, based after the ethnic group in China. And then the guy could not resist the species name being Solo as kind of like an homage to Star Wars. So there is a trilobite and its name is Han Solo. And if you like fossils and Star Wars, why don't you go find one and comment below and let me know what you think about it. All right, guys, take a closer look at this trilobite and how it has pyrite on it, which I think is so cool. And then take a closer look at how clean and easy to see that fossil is. And think about this. We're, you know, present day. These could be up to 500 million years old, which I think is so cool that we have this, you know, ancient marine bug on a YouTube channel and you know, what we can learn about it. We're so lucky to have this. Thank you, Mother Nature. So scary thing about trilobites is how big they could be and how they hunted and how they were social. That just kind of freaks me out. You have these like ancient marine bugs that were social and predators. Eek. Um, but hey, I learned a ton today about trilobites and I hope you did too. Comment below and let me know what fossil you would like to see in the future. We've had audience suggestions as episodes in the past and I'm really looking forward to doing more of that in the future with you. So yeah, like, subscribe. You don't wanna miss out what we've got coming up next on unboxing, I guess. If you have a time travel machine and you go back 300 million years, just be careful, trilobites. Thanks guys.